What's up, everyone? Happily to Elijah, but that was very rude for you interrupting me. Very rude. Anyway, <laughs> what's up, everyone? My name is Weber, and welcome back to Outlast. This is the final part. Um, and you know, <laughs> there are these guns on the ground, but they're completely taken apart. So, yeah, that's not gonna happen. All right, let's go. Oh god, this part. I don't like this part. This part is hard. Okay, so what you guys need to know is that I did this part yesterday. I did it, but then my computer crashed. And so then none of my data saves, so I have to redo this part. Um, which sucks so much. But oh well. But, um, you know, I've just been been doing whatever. been keeping up with E3. Seen a lot of good games coming up this year. Can't wait for that. Especially, uh... Especially Shadow of Mordor. Ugh. That's gonna be such a good game with the Nemesis system that's intact with it. It's gonna guarantee that no two playthroughs are the same. Like, that's a game I'll always want to play then. But anyway, let's get to this, because this is annoying. Can't even tell you how many times I died doing this the other day. Or yesterday. <laughs> go, 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 go. No! No! Okay, it's gotta be the first one. You gotta go through the first one. Oh. It's horrible. Horrible, horrible. But we can do it. We can do it. It's okay. Don't even worry about it. Because this is how I did it yesterday. I went through this one. So. Alright. Let's go. Oh, yep, here he comes. Go, 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 go. No, 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 that is such bullshit. Okay, that is huge bullshit, I think. Alright. Um, let's see. Maybe I need to just go through. Hmm. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Okay. 
There he is. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's right. I did end up going this way because it's a longer way around. Oh fuck. Really? I went right into him. That's horrible. The thing that really sucks is that because I'm on nightmare mode, uh, he one hit, it's one kill. If you're on any of the other modes, you'll take two or three hits before you die. Okay, so this is what I need to do. I need to wait for him to get closer to over here. Then I run. Okay, okay that's what I do. Yep, here he comes. Go, 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 go. Oh. Yes. He gonna kill me, I know he is. He always does. <laughs> No! <laughs> I just don't understand why the doors have to open outward. Why can't they go in? Ah, uh, that's horrible. Alright, this is gonna be hard. Maybe if I do go that way, but I wait for him to get closer a little bit. I just need to use my night vision. And he kills me. Oh, oh, not yet. Yes, oh my god, yes. Oh, finally. Jesus. Oh, we're safe for now. Jeez. God, this game is way too intense for my liking. Kidding, I love it. I love the intensity of it. Alright, <laughs> um, to all personnel from consultant MM008, Rudolf Warnicke, DBNR. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. Okay. Oh, jeez. Finally. This part's a bit tricky. But luckily, I know how to get through it. Aha. Assembler, the feed chambers, the precursor molecules, vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online, probably drunk, probably distracted, not nearly enough to know how to destroy it, but Billy is the center of it. Find him, kill him, end this. Sounds like such a great plan. But what happens to great plans when we're in playing Outlast? They don't very, they don't go well. Let's just say that. Turn off the valve for the life support. Ooh, document. Murkoff psychiatric systems, morphogenic engine chamber maintenance schedule. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital system 1. The enriched oxygenated plurofluorocarbon from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruptions in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Vital system 2, electric supply, is supplemented and insured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. 
Vital System 3. In the case of catastrophic loss of Vital Systems 1 and 2, the live pod failsafe will engage maintaining localized minimal life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. Alrighty then. From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Yep, he does look old. Oh my god. That's in him? Jesus! They had a bad day. That's all cracked. Oh, hey! How you doing there, guy? Alright. Life support fluid reservoir. Let's do it. This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all, break it all, he has to die. Yes he does. He must die. Just resting right now, taking my time, because I know I'm gonna be running non-stop. I just hit that valve. <gasps> Ooh, document. From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein, or the Modern Prometheus, by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818, Chapter 4, Excerpt. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example. How dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier the modest man than who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, are we ready for this? I don't think we are. Let's do it. Pretty sure that's not right. So isn't it righty tidy lefty Lucy? I thought that's what the term was. Oh yeah, fuck it, I'm jumping over, you know? Fuck the stairs. Go, go! Go! Don't stop! Go, 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 go! Ho, 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 ho. He's coming! He's coming! So many stairs! Run, run, run! Oh my god, oh my god, how many stairs are there? Jesus, it's like the stairway to heaven. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Horrible. I did not aim very well when I jumped. Alright, let's try this again. Oh god, if I can get there, if I can get there, if I can get there. Oh, that's right. Oh my god, he was right there. Jesus, too close for comfort, you know? Oh, jeez. Wow. This game really gets my heart pumping. 
Please find attached the permission to proceed form for patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatry Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado, USA. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent, recent guided cardiac arrest. He is submitting to the experiment with the understanding unfounded of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Wernicke, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. What the fuck does that mean? Dream therapy. What the hell is that about? Like, wow, well, we are pretty high up. That's where we entered. Well, here we go. Fuck it. Take it all. Get it all out. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Go, go, go! Oh, fuck! Fuck it. I'm running. I'm not gonna let him get me. He's still there. Yes! I did it! That's right. Oh shit! No, 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 no! Not good, not good. Keep the camera safe! Keep it safe! Oh no! Why won't you die? You must die! Oh! No, boy, no! Shit! Oh, I feel your pain, Miles. I really do. Missing two fingers, bunch of cracked ribs, freaking beat to hell. Billy is dead. The wall rider, the swarm, whatever it is, unmade with him. We either I escape or die. Here. Oh, whether I escape or die here, I am free. Oh, no! Oh, oh, come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Come on. Come on, Miles. You made it. You can go back up the elevator. And get the fuck out. Must record. It's okay, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, you're fine. You're fine. Get up, be a man. I know you want to give up, but you must press on. The story must be revealed. Stay by the walls, they'll help you, you can use them for support. Oh shit. Come on now man, get your shit together. Wait, but, I, I'm one of you. I'm not crazy. Oh shit. Oh god, oh, 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 oh. God in him. You have become the horse. Oh shit, you all fuckers are gonna die.
there's Outlast. Ugh, such a good game. I can play this game over and over again. Oh, sh shit. Anyway, um, yeah, so this has definitely become one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it's just, it's just such a great story, such good gameplay. I highly recommend for anyone and everyone to play this game. Even if you get scared easily. Just you just even just play the intro and I don't know. But um yeah, so uh, I'm gonna let the credits go by with here, um and then I'm gonna start uh the DLC, um, Whistleblower. Which is also um <laughs> it definitely does justice to Outlast. It it holds up. Um Jeremy Blair. He's in that whistleblower. Why is his name coming up here? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um But yeah, so let me think of this game in that comment section. Uh or of this video. Uh leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more content from me, hit that subscribe. Until next time. Have a nice day.